It's not as weird as it sounds. It's not. It's not as weird. Well, it gets a little weird. It can get weird, but okay, that's okay. Okay, okay. In a good bass we'll player leave, kind we'll of leave way. Room for that. <laughs> so yeah, dude. Thank you so much for You're joining. Welcome. That's so yes. rad, dude. So we've known awesome. each other for a while. Long and, time. Yeah. Yeah. We geek out quite a bit. Which yeah. Is, it's great to be here geeking out. With it's you. a good thing, man. So yeah. So two dudes in one bass. We just kind of talk about a bass that. Okay. Well, this one yeah. in particular. You've been Boom. using, you've been touring with it. You just kind of yeah. got it. Too, yeah, right? I just I just got it this spring uh, okay. from NS, and I used it on Richie Cotton's uh, Salting Earth tour this year. Yes. We did about um about five months of touring, wow. um, and um, and uh, yeah, I'm super happy with it. It's, okay. it's a great instrument. It's a great instrument. It has a lot of um, a lot of versatility mm-hmm. um, with the kind of sounds you could get, and and really impressed. I mean, obviously, there's no you know, cavity here. There's no body. There's, there's, there's no, no body, body. You know? Yeah. And um, both of us play an upright bass, yeah. like a real upright bass. So um, I, I think you, you go into playing one of these things with lowered expectations of what kind of sound you're going to get. Absolutely. And yeah. uh, I was really pleasantly surprised at the tone. Uh, this particular model, I think this is the CRM. I want to say CRM. Okay. Um, and um, it has uh, it has a blend here. I don't know how they do this or the science behind it. I don't okay. know how here between what they call uh, uh, arco mode okay and and uh, pizzicato, pizzicato okay. uh, uh, and you can tell the pizzicato kind of uh, a little bit more high end more finger noise yeah it kind of it gets a little more of like a like okay. a, a electric um uh, fretless kind of oh, okay. tone I, that's, okay. that's how i address it yeah, yeah. That when I put it in, when you go into like Arco mode, right? vibrates of, on the bow versus the fingers because then when I, when I roll it over to it sounds better right but I'm just saying like yeah. it's quieter in Arco with fingers than it is that's with a bow yeah. <laughs> that's a bow dude it's I don't know what it reminds me so that pizzicato <laughs> mode sounds like if you're bowing with a with a with a pickup you know yeah yeah like, Anyway, so I found hmm. on the road. Anyway, what I okay. found was I, I really liked the blend in between. I thought that was a good. Oh, they, there's, so there's both. There's pizzicato, arco, or yeah, both. And, and blend, oh, see, that's blend of it, cool. Right? Interesting. Um, and so what, what I found, what I would do is, is I'm kind of leaving in the middle. Okay. And then when it came time for me to to bow a little bit, I'd throw it over to the, to the, the arco settings and get some of that. And then uh, when I would do like a a pizzicato solo, mm-hmm. I just roll it over just a little bit to the pizzicato end because it would give me a little boost. I, okay. I would get a little little bit on top of the mix a little bit. I, mean, I think it sounds great. For the most part, it, it sounds really kind of good. good. That tone, yeah. it really sounds like, a, like an upright, like a double bass. It actually sounds like a double bass that's been mic'd with a good mic. Yeah, exactly. And, and the ease of travel. 
travel is just oh, dude. insane. Oh. And, um, so oh, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's killer. Yeah. Yeah. So a couple. Of, so we're playing through a dark glass microtubes 500 head, which I just got for review literally yesterday. Use it on a gig DI, and then I wanted Dylan's opinion on it. And so far, it's it's pretty great. It's yeah. pretty great. It's awesome. Yeah. It sounds good. And that's pretty much flat, like flat setting. And yeah. then we're going through a form factor 112 cap. So just an FYI, if you want to know what we're playing through. Um, so you do play with the bow. Um, where did you have a little quiver? <laughs> I, d I do. I, I don't have say. it with me. It's it's on my uh, okay. my upright. I was using it last night on my actual I'm upright, thinking. so I, I took yeah. it off. But uh, yeah, I totally put the quiver on and yeah, absolutely was quivering it on the uh, so to, okay the so tour yeah, yeah so NS design NS design CRM yeah. CRM yeah che uh, Czech Republic made made in the Czech Republic made in the Czech Republic okay. yeah. Which I, I had an opportunity to take it home and play it in the Czech Republic uh, oh, like a month ago. Nice. Which, I don't know if it appreciated it. it didn't no, tell me. I, I think so. I think so for sure. And then it has the pickup is here, or is it is it is the pickup under I, the bridge? You know, I, I believe it's it, I believe it's here in the bridge. And okay, I, I'm just gonna you know if you haven't caught on, like I'm not a guy who Dude, knows like the technical. That's fine. Man, I play I, in, man, it makes a sound. It sounds good, and, and you uh, make it sound good, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the, the truth is, but, uh, is you're the one making it. You're right. the one I, making it sound good, dude. That's I didn't engineer line. it. I don't know what. Uh, I don't still, know. Yeah, but I, was I don't know all the voodoo that goes yeah. into to making the sound. But uh, wow. But it is it is a pretty um it's a pretty cool. I mean, if you want to, you know, yeah, want to take switch. it for a test drive so, there. Uh, the setup is okay. So here's the volume. Yeah. So, so what do we have here? We so have this is a master volume here, okay. and then, so there's four knobs. Yeah. Four and then knobs. here's here's the blend, oh. and if I go all the way forward, that's the, the quote unquote arco setting. is I like the idea of like putting a bass in someone's hand kind of for the first time. <laughs> yeah. And this is just, yeah, like what does that feel like? Yeah. yeah. It's such a weird looking instrument it, too, right? It, well, it's tripping me out because on a double bass, you play and it lays back. So we were, I kind of mentioned yeah. that. Yeah. You have it kind of set up where a double bass would lean in. Yeah. You know, and, and for players like that, my people, um, if you're thinking about getting one of these bases and you're coming from an upright bass, I, to me that was maybe the biggest learning curve. Yeah. Is how do I set this up to feel okay for me? Uh, because it's on a tripod and I'm not I'm not physically holding it up. It's there by itself, and that's such a different thing. And the tripod itself has so many parameters to yeah. to lean it this way, lean it that so way. So it's got a ball joint. It's got yeah. Literally, you can manipulate it. Oh yeah, we could like. I mean, you yeah. could literally have like. I'm gonna show yeah, no, go ahead, yeah, them. Show. Here's the four knobs. So master volume blend. And that doesn't even take into account the the base of it, which will. I mean, if, if this yeah. isn't set the same every night, that's gonna adjust the height uh, of it. So you know, so yeah. okay. I mean, you so, can literally turn this so it's sideways. <laughs> play like, this. like Rob, uh, who's the guy, the Grateful Dead guy? Doesn't he play something like this where he plays it? So, uh, yeah. Oh, does he really? I don't I know. Thought I, Rob Wasserman does something. Uh, who knows? Yeah. Whatever. So how do you get it set up so that it's consistently? You know, okay, I know exactly where it is. Yeah, what, what I did was I, I kind of I found a spot where I'm like, okay, this feels pretty good to me. And then I took a little, um, like, like marker. old, uh, okay, um, Sharpie. Nice. And it's kind of worn off now, but I just put it there for our, you know, tech guy to see where it was. Yeah. And if you just set it up like that every night and, uh, you know, we rolled with it. That's great. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's pretty amazing. For me, it's the sound. Like when I'm playing it, it sounds like a double bass. It really does sound like a double Which bass. Which is crazy. It, it, it sounds great. so much like a double bass that it makes you not necessarily want to take your actual double bass to any gigs anymore. Because the ease of it. I mean, it's like yeah, getting in and out of the car. Like, it's... I'm still tripping out on the... It, yeah. Dude, this yes. is... And it's and you know it, it's a head turner for sure. I had so many people come yeah. up to me on tour and be like, "What was that what thing you were playing?" Thing? There's literally a guy who reviewed our show in London. Okay. Who who claimed I uh, was playing some sort of homemade instrument. 
instrument. <laughs> he, did his, he did his homework. Yeah, right? he was like, dude, come on. Clearly the guy didn't do any homework, but uh, this might have been the same guy that didn't know how to spell cajon either. So, I, I, I meant, you know, <laughs> I, I, there's, you know, dude, there's, that's some crazy. strange guys out there. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, wow. But yeah, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's a thing, man. It's, it's like, looks like it's from the future. Seems great, and, uh, man. I mean, aesthetically, it, it looks great. Is. I like the flame, you know? I'm yeah. Just, I'm totally yeah. staying in, like, home base, half of it, because it's like, even with, because it has dots. It does have dots, which aren't very visible, actually, from yeah. the stage, which is nice to know. Like, a lot of people told me, like, oh, you can't really see the dots. <laughs> wow. She could, but they're very helpful. Um, yeah, they're very helpful. I mean, you know, the upright basses are also also different, you know, whether it's E flat neck or D neck and like Yeah. And you're used to I mean you only have on a double bass this much that this is your position. And then you know exactly yeah. where you're at. Exactly. Yeah. And, and then, then this, this Yeah. Like, absolutely. Where so am I? There's 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 that in there too. Yeah. So you know it's a there's the learning curve. I'm, I'm getting used to it. And, uh, and and the strings, what are the strings? Uh it comes with Diodario strings. Um, can you use any double bass strings on this? Uh, yes, I'm told that you can. Um, I, I haven't changed them since they sent me the bass and we did the tour and it just is what it is. But I'm kind of notorious for that too. No, I no. Ever changed my well, strings. Double bass like, strings are kind of. Yeah, especially those, yeah. Man, this thing, getting used to it is, is a thing, but yeah. man, I, this. Way to adjust the height of the strings, the, the, the height of this bridge here, adjust with some screws in the back. Um, which oh really? Yeah, so yeah. It'll just raise it up and yeah, down. Yeah, just huh? raise it and lower wow. it. Uh, I think it's I don't know. I took maybe it's season center. But is um, this an active? It is an active. This one yeah. has like a nine volt is, battery. Yeah, or something. it's got a nine volt in there. And um, yeah, I'm gonna give it back yeah, to you really? because I can't play it. <laughs> really? You, you play it really well. <laughs> I don't. I'm well, like, you're overly kind it's about it. But so trippy, man. But yeah, great right, though. Another thing I did find it speaking about the adjusting the height mm -hmm. for me, um, I I didn't part of getting a good tone and a good feel for me out of it um, from what I'm used to involved me actually raising the strings a lot. It came so low, so wow. incredibly low, and I, I mean that's kind of me anyway. Even on electric bass, I I, I don't like things extremely high, Got but um, yeah, I, I need a little room to pull the strings. Well, it's, and I think it's like a, like a double bass. Pitch, yeah. You want it a little bit higher, so you and can I, I really think that helped that tone to get more of a yeah. breath thing and be able to pull that string a little bit. Where do you put your thumb? Do you put it on the fretboard, or are you? I'm, okay. I'm back here. Oh, okay. The other thing that on double bass, I always want that bow right here. So that's yeah, you know, yeah. I always true. that's just like almost like a comfort thing where it's just resting. And you're just like, ah, oh, okay, it's right there. Yeah. That would be a little get used to, but still, yeah. man, it's um, that thing's great, man. It's, Sounds awesome, man. Wow. Uh, how long have you been playing? How long? About a year or so? Um, or? I guess I got it in, in uh, April. So not even oh, a year. Oh, not even a year. Like seven months, I guess. But and a ton of tour dates. We hit a ton of road. Yeah. Oh, I might have got it in March because we hit okay. the road in April. Okay. Um, And we basically did five months touring over six months. Um, And uh, and this thing went all over the world. And it, it was... it was. I like the neck. The neck, feels, the neck feels it. really good, dude. Wow. Yeah, that feels great. Yeah, it's a beautiful instrument. It is super they do round. Yeah. Really cool stuff and great, really great company. The guys over there mm -hmm. I, couldn't have been nicer That's cool. uh, when I reached out to them uh, nice. about about doing this. Wow. Um, well, dude, you're a killer player. You're playing great gigs. And, yeah, man. You're getting it you. out there, so it's rad, dude. Yeah, man. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, I don't know anything. Oh, do you know the wood that it is? I mean, it looks like a flame maple, but it's whatever. It's Man, I, you wood. know, you're you're more than no, expertise I, on that. I, I couldn't tell you. Like flame maple and, uh, and ebony, right? I mean, it looks, yeah, this this looks, looks like like real. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, dude, this thing is uh, rad. Maybe I should have looked up some no, stats no, before I came over. <laughs> this is two dudes, one bass. This is an exploration. We're just playing. So <laughs> awesome, dude. Well, dude, uh, thank you. Yeah. Um, anything else on it, or I think anything else to talk yeah. about on it? Um. No, not so much. I don't know. It's just. It sounds there it great. Is. Yeah, there yeah. it is. And uh, yeah, so. Do you have a website? Um, yeah, I do. Uh, DylanWilsonMusic.com is my website. Um, cool. But, uh, you know, uh, I appreciate more uh, going and following me on the social media sites. That has go. a lot more to do these nice. days. The Instagram. Um, yeah, so at Dylan Wilson Bass on Instagram and uh, uh, Twitter and Facebook. 
And then um, also, I, I do have a YouTube channel, nice. which I think is doing a little some bass. And I have a second YouTube channel with uh, the drummer from Rich Cotton Band, Mike Bennett. Yeah. And him and I have been doing a rhythm section series. Uh, it's where, great. I yeah, just watched th it. Thank you so much. It's, um, it's rad. Yes. yes. It's, uh, it's a new kind of thing. We're okay. eight episodes in, uh, and nice. we have uh, several more coming out. And it's just the two of us, a drummer and a bass player, yeah. um, sitting around talking about concepts, of, about playing and, and and uh, the things yeah. we've learned. And we do a little bit of playing in there. That's cool. A lot of discussion. That's great. Um, and you guys are already tight rhythm sessions together. Yeah, we've been, yeah, so we've well, been touring together for six nice. years, and we've been playing together in general and knowing mm -hmm. each other for uh, well over a decade. So, awesome. long that's time. So cool. And, um, yeah, and that's, nice. oh, so that is the rhythm section, Concepts and Conversations. There you go. And if you, you go, go, if you go to my uh, yeah. Instagram, there's a, there's a link on the Instagram, a link to take you there. I'll put it somewhere check that out. here. Yeah, I'll send you that info. There will be throw it up and some titles see, somewhere. See what's going on? We'll and I'll be on the road. I think with Cotton in the U.S. in spring. Is it mostly U.S. audience for this? Probably. It's everywhere. Uh, it's everywhere. Dude, this is a, oh, come on. <laughs> this is the bass thing, dog. I, Iceland. Iceland is my big demographic. Well, it's just bass players in Iceland. Okay. Well, no, no. look for look for dates on uh, richcotton.com. I'll, I'll be yeah. out with him uh, next year. It, awesome. it sounds as if we'll be. You know, That's touring cool. the world again nice. um, next year. If, and for local things go well. And for local people, it's Coach House all the time. And, yeah, like, so <laughs> the Coach down, House, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely yeah. be there. And, yeah, uh, dude, that is so and rad. Everything else in between, yeah, that's rad, man. So again, it's the um, the NS Design CRM. Yeah, base the one and only super ridiculously talented Dylan Wilson. Just <laughs> rocking it. I am ridiculously <laughs> grateful for you to stop by and just you're very welcome. And, and just being a, a bass hot bro. I love coming over. This it's guy's awesome. got so many so many cool basses. <laughs> Too much stuff. Take <laughs> them off my hands. Just take them. All right, Don't guys. Don't tempt me. Yeah, I know, huh? Right. So Steve Araujo. Dylan Wilson. Two dudes. One bass. Thank you for watching, guys. Play us out, man. Play us out. <laughs> yeah, play Do a little something. something. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Put me on the spot. All right. Thank <laughs> you.